Electric atmosphere on the water outside and on the ice inside for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Hi everyone with Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro coming along in just a moment. I'm Mike Emmerich. A lot of people have clicked through the turnstiles tonight and they've had in mind one player. He's the guy on whom all eyes will be. What's it like to be him? Well, you want that pressure. You want to be the guy. When the game is on the line, you want to be the guy that has the puck on your stick. And that's why people pay a lot of money to come watch this particular player play. Because when he's at his best, his team goes to another level. Dubinsky's shown throughout his career, pretty much at every level of hockey, that he loves the extra attention and responsibilities that come from being one of the stars for his team. It's not easy being the guy every night, but he seems to enjoy it when all the eyes are on him. We direct our attention to the Nets and the starting goalies. Andre Vasilevsky bided his time between Syracuse and Tampa Bay his first two seasons out of the KHL, but then became the main man of the Lightning crease and absolutely earned it. Sergei Bobrovsky, multiple Vezina trophies for best goalie, multiple first All-Star honors, a 41-win season with Columbus, and a big part of his team's league-tying 16-game win streak. Face-off number one gets us underway. The Blue Jackets get the first play. And he steps in. Let's it go. Wonderful chance to score, but no. He's got that one measured in the attacking zone. Quick wrist shot. Turned aside with a pass. And ring more bells on that one. One after another. Great positioning in the blue paint. Another stop. May not have been intentional, but he got it anyway. Quick shot. He scores! Nice beginning if you're the home squad. Up 1-0. Always better to play from in front than to chase the game. There's the game's first goal. Tampa Bay's ahead by one goal here in the first period. A lot of time still left to play, but getting one and breaking the tie was huge. And they've won the faceoff. Scored by number 77, Victor Edmond. So back to center ice they come on that offside. And by number 91, Steven Stamkos. Time of the goal, three minutes, 20 seconds. Under four minutes have gone by. Tampa Bay's got the lead, 1-0. They win the draw and will now set up an attack. In with it now. Skill play by Dan Girardi. Moving it to Miller. And he shoots. Good save. It's going to have to be something tougher than that to score. The Blue Jackets with a neutral zone possession along the way. Whistle is blown. Penalty call. Guilty party departs. Tampa Bay's roster goes down by one here. At least briefly, a minor penalty for hooking. The referees are looking for this. Anytime you stop skating and reach with your stick and pull on the opponent, you're going to the penalty box. The Blue Jackets are hoping to get one out of one on the power play. Just because it's your power play doesn't mean you can take a nap here. You have to work hard and continue to generate chances. And a save. Columbus will play it from their own end on this power play. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Good shooting place. Nice save there. They're going to have to do better than that to beat him. Bobrovsky's able to get the blocker on this. He's in good position, and he deflects this out of the scoring zone. Good job on the draw. Could be trouble near the line. Can he beat him here? Comes up big on the breakaway. Shoots. Terrific shot, but a great point-blank save. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. 
Still time on this power play, but not much. Gets across, looks over his options. Tampa Bay's killed off the penalty, back to full strength. Well, that power play really didn't do them much good, did it? Now they still trail by a goal. While they had a decent power play, they don't get the tying goal that they're looking for. He's got that pass at the point. Waffle boarded. Pitching this one to point. And he shoots. Save. Has it in his own end. Columbus skates upwards along the side. Gathered up again by Hedman. And he steps across the line. Routine save. Passing one off now to Anderson. Steps in from the neutral zone. Let's it go. Outstanding save. What magic even to get there and get the shot off. That was a tougher stop than a look. Well, shooter can't do much more than that, guys. That's an excellent shot that he delivered to the net, but the goaltender makes the save. The Blue Jackets win that faceoff. To Jones. Directing that one to Anderson. Gains the zone. On the outside, a shot. Save there. Pass attempt to Miller. And he sends it to the net. Good save there. Snapping a pass to Nash. Loose puck did not go well. And now it's directed to point. And he hammers one. Save. Anderson skating to neutral zone. Brings a shot. Great save in close. Now that's a solid save. Steps across that line. Oh, a save there. Puck is thrown to Anderson. Columbus in mid-ice skating along the side. And he's tripped and there'll be a penalty. That's a marvelous save. And now the whistle signals stoppage of play and will get the penalty. Hedman's going to the box. It's a tripping minor. Now this is a tough call. He was trying to play the puck, but he tripped up the attacking player. Tampa Bay penalty to number 77, Victor Hedman. Time of the penalty. 20 minutes are in the books, and so the coaches will have their say. The players will rest and listen. Tampa Bay is connected once, and that's the only goal. With hot food and ice-cold beverages. Second period about to begin here. Let's take a look back at the first. What stuck out for you? Columbus hasn't had much time with the puck, and as a result, they're chasing the game. I'm sure the coach talked about the importance of puck possession going into the second period. So the penalty killers with a chance to spring their team ahead if they can kill this off. The period is underway. Great save. Gets a little drop off from the goalie here. Girardi's tripped up. That should be a penalty. Play stopped. Penalty coming. Power play done. Columbus is given a two-minute minor for tripping. He's got great stick positioning. Stick is on the ice, but unfortunately takes the skates out from under him. The teams will go four on four. Do you take risks offensively, or do you just play defense and limit mistakes? I hope they take chances myself. Man, I love four on four. One guy makes a little stumble or a half a mistake, and all of a sudden you've got scoring chances all over the place. Tampa Bay is only going to get two minutes on this call, but it was tripping. Well, in desperation mode, all he was trying to do was sweep the puck away, but unfortunately caught the player's skates. The Blue Jackets have an unusual power play beginning. It's four against three. More space per man out there now. Solid, clean win. No matter how often you work on the power play, the ones that struggle go back to the same basic tenets, and it's to simplify things, get it to the point, Shoot it. Breakaway chance. That rush is broken. The Blue Jackets power play let them down at a key point. What a save. That was a good challenge. Better stop. 
Good place to shoot from. Score! A terrific shorthanded goal. Of course, the first job of a penalty killer is make sure you don't get scored on. This is an extra bit of gravy here as they get a shorthanded goal. Tampa Bay's got a two-goal lead now. Still in the second period. Lots of time to build on that. And the faceoff's won. Kane's that offensive line. Let's it go. Oh, he'll pay for that. Tampa Bay's done it again. They have killed off another penalty in a long list of them. You just can't expect to win games when you take the tie. You don't go after the goalie without paying a price, and we're seeing it right here. Fight ends with one resounding punch. You don't see too many fights end on that note. Much safer up here with you, Doc, in the booth. Five minutes for fighting for those guys. Just over four minutes have been skated in the second. Two goals have been scored, both by one team. Nice face-off work. Looking to Palak. Tampa Bay skating on in mid ice A shot. Missed. Has it back deep. Leads that charge into the zone. Brings a shot. Got in front of another one. That is a great display of goaltending there, Doc. And he is shooting. Say. Columbus carrying it up the wing. In all alone. Stared him down and made the save. I'd like to say that the shooter was shooting for a rebound. At least I hope he was because that shot had no chance of going in. The goalie's far and away been the best player in this hockey game. He has faced an inordinate amount of shots in this contest, stopped just about everything, and as a result, he's got to be the first star as his team is leading this game. The Blue Jackets control from the faceoff. Can start the attack going in the zone. Routine save, but a necessary one. Long lead pass to Bjorkstrand. Pitching it to Venber. Shoots. Terrific save with no reaction time whatsoever. Great opportunity. Better stop. Just a backhand. Murray's got it in his own end, headed towards center. Gains the blue line. Shoots one. Got that in the trapper. On to Bjorkstrand. Good defensive read with that one. And he lets it go. Good save there. A one-timer. Score! Three straight goals. This puck jumped off his stick. He scored on the one-timer. So many times we focus on the finish of the play, but that's a great pass that opened up room for him to shoot the puck. Tampa Bay is getting a larger and larger lead as the second period gets shorter and shorter, and a full third period and a chance to enlarge. 
scored by number Trying nine. to go to Atkinson. Cut that off between the blue lines. Off a defender, that's a free putt. Number 91, Steven Stamkos. Columbus with possession in the defensive zone. Moving it to Atkinson. Nicely into the zone. A solo rush. They score! They only trail by a pair. This shot off the backhand is a little cheeky, and it's got the goalie beat. He doesn't even move. Once he drops into the butterfly, you're certain he's got the net covered. He just doesn't. The Blue Jackets have worked this back to a two-goal deficit now. Let's see if they can make it one before the end of the period, period number two. And that's a face-off win. by number nine. With a shot. Oh, and he missed the net. You have to give yourself a chance. That puck cannot miss the net like that. At least he protected his goaltender. Into the last minute of the second period. Shoots it off. Wonderful stop. Cut that pass in his own end. Great chance here. Two on one. Good place to shoot from, and he does. 40 minutes have been played. Some hits given, some shots fired. But let's see what they have in mind as we get closer to the start of the third period and crunch time. Do you know someone in your community who goes... Third period about to begin. The rear view mirror will help us with the first two, and so will Edzo. The Blue Jackets have had the better of the play, Doc, especially in the category of time of possession. They're down in this third period, but they have to start finishing off some of their chances. And a save! Picks it up in his own end. Pitching this one to Dubois. Skates it into the zone. Shoots. The pad came in handy that time. Passing one off now to Miller. Fires. Wonderful save! Turned a shot on net. And yet another save. How does he do that? Amazing reflexes. Columbus has possession on the wing and neutral ice. Let's it go. Turned away with the stick. And on top of that, another great stop. That puck is cleared and fresh guys can get back out there. That one came back over the blue line. Everybody has to get back. And the coach wishes he had skates on right now. Great moves in the zone. Flings it. That's a good save and goal. They're going to have to come up with something better than that. And the whistle is blown. The net has come off its moorings. Oh, he'll take shots like that all night. Keep feeding him those muffins. He's going to stop every one of them. A little over seven minutes have gone by. A two-goal spread in this one, three to one. The puck's dropped, and that's a great job tying the man up on that faceoff. And a save. Backhander to the net. He hangs on and gets the whistle. You're not going to beat a goaltender of this caliber with that shot. That's a pretty easy blocker stop. The Blue Jackets with a face-off win. Tripped up on the play, and there will be a penalty. Score! They're back to within one. Felino's quick hands put himself in a position to score on the forehand. Strollman's usually pretty responsible defensively, but he gets caught wandering up along the wall, opening up a shooting spot. Columbus has gotten to within one now, and there's time enough 
to get this game even in the third period. Solid win at center ice. Now what? Carries it on in from center. Let's it go. Terrific save. Terrific opportunity. Not often you're all alone in front of the goaltender from this area of the ice. Great save. Directing that one to Johnson. Fires a shot. Good save. Holds on and gets that whistle. Well, it looks like the shooter's just trying to get this puck on net. Routine stop for the goaltender, not much challenge. A little under eight minutes to go in the period. The Blue Jackets have just gotten on the board. Still trailing, though. Skilled play by Felino. Nicely into the zone. Yorkshire's trying to do way too much there with that offensive opportunity. Back in his defensive end to get it. Points it. Laid on to Bjorkstrand. Oh, he got that! Right next to the line. Pass to the slot. Oh, and blocked away. No! And another missed chance. He's had several tonight. His inability to score has really cost his team as they trail. Sends to the point. The lane was jammed, and it hit somebody. Gains the zone. By himself. Score! An amazing comeback. Only a little time to go. Can they add to it? Well, that certainly changes the complexion of the game. That tying goal has changed everything about this one. Atkinson's tied this game up late. Does he have another in him? Maybe now? Maybe overtime? And they've taken that face off between the blue lines and won it. Fires and a save. We are in the 60th minute out of 60. Outlet up the middle to Murray. Gives it to the point. That was one he'll get the number on. Hedman's often been talked about as a 200-foot player. That means using your body, but just trying to get yourself around the ice with your skill. Pass attempt to Savard. Puck lofted in, shift change on. Tampa Bay starting back in the defensive zone. Brings it in for an attack. Save! Chip to Venberg. What a heavy hit! Solid hit directly right through the puck carrier. Excellent open ice hit. Propel to Hedman. He won't have... The gloves are off, and it seems like this has been brewing all game long, Eddie. Five minutes apiece for fighting. The way they went, they should have gotten tan. Both these guys are going to get a well-deserved rest after that scrap. Although it's pretty rare, it's maybe not the most prestigious achievement a player will get, but he'll like it. The Gordie Howe hat trick. Neutralized face-off win. Victor Hedman, a five Good save. Gonna have to be something tougher than that to score. What a performance, and it's not over yet. These guys will play on in overtime. The Blue Jackets, on the strength of this play, have brought a tie into extra time. Overtime is after this.
Sudden death overtime is underway. If nobody scores, a shootout will be next. Strong wrister. Score! And the overtime is finished. And we have a winner from this hero in overtime. He had that wrist shot ready to go in a perfect scoring area. Bobrovsky's trying to add a little dazzle to the glove save. Maybe he should just try to catch it. Solid performances all around in a terrific hockey game. We hope you liked it. We'll all look forward to next time. Good night from all of us.